I'm Dan Gookin, author of these word books, and it's Word Style Week. I'm so excited about styles, I could just burst. No, Dan, don't. Seriously. I just don't want to animate that. Word offers two ways to create a new style. The best and easiest is to mess around with text, applying formatting, and getting it to look the way you want. Then you create a style based on that existing text. The second way is to create a new style from scratch, which works when you really know how formatting works in Word, otherwise it's a pain. As always, my mantra is to write first and format later. Here you see a document I started working on. This text is already written, so now I can focus on the formatting. This is only the first part of the document, so I'll create initial formatting for this page. Then I'll make styles based on those formats, which I can apply to the rest of the pages, the recipes in the full document. Also, because the text is already written, I can experiment and try different things, as you can see here. I'll continue formatting the page using standard formatting tools. I'm happy with how this formatting looks, so I'll create the styles based on that formatting. Click in the title paragraph to grab its style. On the Home tab, I'll click the Gallery button in the Styles group right here, and choose Create a Style. The Create New Style from Formatting dialog box is very simple. You see a suggested name and a preview. Now for my style name, I'm going to type Title. Uh, but you see that Title is already a style. It's a reserved name because there's a built-in title style. Okay, so I'll be clever and type Recipe Title. Okay. And here you see the new style appear in the style gallery, selected and ready to apply to text. I must repeat these steps for each of the styles in the document, giving each a unique name. The styles are going to be saved with the document, so they'll always be available anytime I open to edit. The second way to create a style is more difficult, so it's less popular. It works like this. From the style gallery menu, choose create a style. And it doesn't matter where the insertion pointer is blinking, just give the style a name, say funky text, and click modify. You use this dialog box to build the style from scratch. Basic formatting commands are found here. This is a preview window so you can check out your creation. And for more specific commands, you can click the format button and choose the command category from the menu, and then use the dialog box to continue formatting your efforts. Yeah, this method is rather sterile. This dialog box, however, is important. It's used to update or modify a style, as well as add special style features covered in other Word Tip videos.